Yes, I am. Key, I'm yes. just getting the camera set up a little bit, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, well, while he's getting the camera, I'd love to just share a little background about Gary before he shares his story. So I had the privilege of meeting Gary when we were in Cancun. And look, this guy is incredible. Talk about a, an athlete and a sports machine. I think he was on every single extreme sport activity they could do there. But Gary is from Florida. He's married for the past 16 years and has a 12-year-old son. He was a physical therapist for over six years where he actually took care of um, lots of professional athletes from all over the world. There he is. <laughs> and prior to this, he was a top pharmaceutical rep for over 13 years with Glaxo Smith Klein, where he was one of the top sales reps in the country. His passions have always been surfing, cycling, travel, and he actually was the five-time Florida champion for cycling. Um, he's been with Glyvantage now for over six years. And in that time, uh, for the past three years, is in the top 1% of the elite ranks. Now, I know Gary has um, an amazing um, business. He's a mentor. He trains people from all over the world and is really, really passionate about Live Vantage and the products we have. But also, um, I know as an avid cyclist still. So we are so looking forward to hearing We'd love you just to start, Gary, but maybe just share your story. Tell us a little bit more, expand on what I said and how you actually got introduced to Pro Tandem. Yeah, you got it. Absolutely, Guy. Thanks for having me on tonight and uh, good morning, I guess, to everybody. It's so yeah. weird to say. Uh, my office is a mess right now. We just uh, endured what you guys call, what, cyclones mm. uh, down under? We call them hurricanes here, so... Um, got all the hurricane panels off. That's why I didn't know what the lighting would look like because I haven't seen outside the windows of my office for about a week straight. We've had the hurricane panels up. So it was, uh, we, we took a, we had a tornado hit about, uh, 500 meters from my house and ripped up the backs of a bunch of people's houses. So it's been a little bit exciting. Um, my background. So for those who don't know, my background um, stems back, I, I originally went to school to become a physiotherapist. Um, I did, I practiced physiotherapy for about six years, loved it, got to work with a lot of professional athletes. Um, near the end of my career, uh, my father got sick with cancer and ended up dying of cancer, and my mom got sick with cancer at the same time. They were divorced, they lived in two totally different places. But it made me um, realize that I needed to move back home so I could take care of my mom. So I, I did that and left the field of physical therapy, left that dream job. And I share that with you because I want you to think about that from a, a, a product standpoint as well as a business standpoint. Imagine I had to give up my income to go back and start taking care of my mom. I didn't have a job when I moved back home to take care of her. I had nothing um, and gave up a dream job. And I would do it. 11 out of 10 times. It's not to say the, the struggle with it. Um, it. I would do that to support my mother, but I want you to think about that one for a second. When you don't have residual income working for you, or like when hurricanes hit and you can't work for a week straight and you don't have residual income working for you. Thank goodness now I do. So I left the field of physical therapy, went into pharmaceutical sales, did that for about 13 years said no to this industry, to network marketing, which I thought was silly. I see a lot of women on the line. This isn't meant to be disrespectful, but I thought it was makeup parties. I thought you went and sold like uh, kitchen supplies and it was all about makeup parties. I didn't know any better, right? Um, I learned quickly that there was some money to be made, but I said no 28 times prior to saying yes to Life Vantage. Um, that's kind of a key part of my story because what was it that made me say yes? Well, it was how I was introduced. I was introduced by my cycling coach, Simon Kessler. He talked about a product and initially my first reaction was I rolled my eyes. I'm like, oh, it's another one of those. And then he said he was going to share an ABC investigative news report, which I thought was pretty cool, but that still didn't catch my attention. What did was the clinical data. He said, I'm going to send a clinical study along with that ABC primetime. When I saw that clinical study, 
I'm telling you, that was it for me. I knew my wife and my son and, and, and everybody that I loved and cared about would be on this product for the rest of our lives. Remember, I told you, I'd already lost mom and dad to cancer. My mom ended up passing away about three years after I moved home to take care of her. So, you know, I was 27, lost both parents. I'm reading about a product that slows the aging process. It's a, it's a no-brainer. There's studies behind it. So what was it, Guy? It was the science. The science sold me on it and the fact that it was shared with, uh, with me by somebody who I trusted. I, I knew Simon wouldn't normally do these things. And so um, the science behind it just made sense to me. It, it, if, if there's a product that slows cellular aging by 40% in 30 days and has clinical data to support it, at that rate, if you don't get it, you're probably not going to get it. You, you just, you're probably not. And um, there's other things I could say about it, but it, here's the deal. That, that's what sold me. That's how I got started. I'll be honest. I still wasn't a, a big believer in the business model, though. I signed up as a distributor, and I wanted to make a couple hundred bucks a month. Reason is I'm cheap. I wanted to get my product for free. And um, that happened I mean, I've never had to pay for my product if you want to look at it that way. I've always made more every month than what I've spent on my own product usage. In fact, I had my initial investment back in 30 days. So, Wow. So um, what, which clinical study was it that you were really blown away by? Honestly, the original one, the very the first original one. one. Okay. Seven when I signed up, I, when I enrolled in Life Vantage in... March of 2011, there were only seven clinical studies. It was that initial study, the one that said when they take blood, the blood levels of oxidative stress were reduced by an average of 40% in 30 days. That one study right there, I never had seen anything like that before. And it, and it made me go on a quest to learn more about oxidative stress. I had gotten little bits and pieces of it in, in school, in physiotherapy school, but honestly, just bits and pieces. And so it made me really go and dig deeper and learn what is oxidative stress. I'd heard about free radical damage. I knew about antioxidants. I didn't know free radical damage and antioxidants. I didn't know what oxidative stress. I didn't see that link. And the more I read about it, back then there were, there are 65,000 studies on oxidative stress. Today, there are 180,000. 65,000 to 180,000 in just six years. It should tell you this is it. This is what scientists have been yearning for is like the magic uh, bullet. What is it that we can do? What is it that we can actually attack? And that, that problem is oxidative stress. Wow. And had, did you find um, when Simon came to you, was he saying that it was going to improve your cycling, your physical ability there, as well as the oxidative stress? Like, how did you find once you started taking it, um, did you notice much difference in your athletic performance or recovery? Um, yes, yes, and yes, for the most part. So, he, when he first approached me, yeah, that's how he approached me, was he initially said, I, I've got something that um, I think might help your cycling. Of course, first question is, is it legal? Because um, my son's name is Lance. That should tell you who he's named after, that, that guy, the guy that did win seven Tour de France's and they'll never be able to take it away. That's a whole other discussion. Um, but he did say it was something he thought would help us as cyclists, help us recover faster from our athletic endeavors. I didn't initially look at the information until he said a second time, it's something I'm sharing just with my elite athletes. Well, he coaches world and national champions. Yes, I'm a state champion, but he coaches national and world champion. I mean, that's like a whole nother level. And he put me in the same sentence as them. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm part of this little test group of a handful of, of guys and gals that may see some benefit from this product. What I did see was within two weeks, I was sleeping better. Within four weeks, I was waking up before the alarm clock went off with more energy. And within six weeks, he had me do um, two very hard days in a row of interval training. Uh, we use power meters on our bikes. For those athletes on the line, they'll understand 
500 watt intervals on a bicycle, most people can't sustain that for 10 or 15 seconds. He had me doing one minute intervals and he had me do eight of them in spaced out every five minutes. And then the next day he had me do something similar, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for 10 minutes, take a break and then do 10 more minutes. And then on the third day was when I power tested. Usually you go into a power test fresh without having done any of that ahead of time. I went into the power test with two hard days of training already in my legs and put out some of the highest power numbers I ever have. The crazy thing is Simon is, I guess he's sadistical. He said, take a 10 minute break and go do it again. And I put out a power number that was equal. I mean, it was, one was 321 watts, one was like 323 watts. The, the two watts difference isn't significant. It was the same. After all that hard training, after doing a test and then 10 minute break and doing the test again. And I remember calling him up and going, all right, man, there's way more to this than you're telling me. And that's when I got on the phone with um, a guy that a lot of people here on the line probably know. His name's Brandon Cunningham. And Brandon spent some time on the phone with me, really digging deep and helping me understand. I just couldn't imagine that we had this technology, our hands on this technology, and that the rest of the world didn't know about it yet. It, it floored me. And so um, it was just, I was really shocked. Wow. And do you still find now, six years on, um, speaking to athletes, because I would think that you are still sharing it with a lot of athletes and a lot of cyclists that you come across. Do you still find a lot of people don't know about oxidative stress or the impact that oxid free radical damage has on athletes the more they train and things like that? Because that's something that we're really hearing so much is that people don't really they think they're fit and healthy. It's like, why would I need to take an anti-cellular aging, you know, product? And this right. NRF2 activation, have you found that this is becoming, you know, are people still, you know, not, they don't really understand this? You're, you're spot on. Honestly, many athletes don't. Hang on just a second. Hopefully our power is not getting ready to go out again. The light was flickering. That makes me nervous because that means we'll lose internet and everything. Um, we just got our power restored yesterday. I was out for about five days straight. Um, wow. Yes. In, in answer to your question, I, I do find that most, most athletes think they're extremely healthy. And I think it's just this light. Can you guys still see me okay with that off? It's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's um, fine. All right. So, yes, I do see that, um, that, that many athletes still don't get it. Here's the deal with athletes. They think they're super healthy because they, they go out and they work out. Now, what we do is not sometimes. I mean, we'll go out in a race and our heart rate won't go below 180 beats per minute for one to two hours straight, like just nonstop. Yeah, all the lights are starting to go. You guys can still hear me, right? Okay. Yeah. It must be working on the lines again because the, the lights in here, that's freaky. Um, I'll make it quick. So. Yes, the answer is yes. I do see that, um, Guy, that many, many athletes think they're super healthy. What we do is not that good for you. It creates higher levels of oxidative stress. What is healthy is going out and walking around the neighborhood, ride your bike at a leisurely pace, work out a half an hour a day, three to five days a week. That's for general health. But when you're talking racing at a high level or running at a high level or rowing or whatever it is, that produces higher levels of oxidative stress than not doing any of those things, if that makes sense. So we actually have higher levels of oxidative stress. As I share this with people, it starts to make sense to them. They're like, that's why I'm really sore afterwards. That's why I'm really tired afterwards. That's why I get overtrained and, and you, they almost get like a chronic fatigue syndrome. I also coach athletes and, they, and you'll, they'll say, I just don't even want to get on the bike. It's because they're, they're actually going into almost a depression where it's almost like an Epstein-Barr type syndrome, although it's not caused by that, where their body's just shutting down saying, look, enough is enough. A lot of that is due to oxidative stress and the fatigue that comes along with it and can be alleviated definitely by activating NRF2. None of them know what NRF2 is. A small fraction know what oxidative stress is, Many of them take antioxidants and super antioxidants, just like I used to when I raced. I took handfuls of stuff. 
I was sponsored by a company called Hammer Nutrition, pretty well known in the U.S., I think even worldwide. But Hammer Nutrition is, um, I was with them for 14 years. And I would take probably in the neighborhood of uh, two to 300 US dollars a month worth of supplements. When I, when I started uh, with Life Vantage and Pro Tandem, I ceased all the other stuff that I was taking. There was no need to take it anymore. That's fantastic. So do you find um, a lot of these athletes that you're coaching, they're listening, they're getting results, they're finding that their you know, performance and afterwards they're you know, from all their training, it's improving and the ones that do it properly. Um, I would say it's not, I would love to say it was, it was a panacea, right? And a hundred percent results. And I think there are some people that do take it legitimately as, as frequently as they should, both the NRF two and the NRF one. I'm really pushing the, the activated essentials right now. Um, but I would say it's probably about 75 to 80% see those types of results where their recovery improves. And it is a little bit more age dependent, I would say. So the older the athlete, I'm 45 years old. Um, I race against guys that are in their 20s. They, the 18 to 20 year olds, they maybe don't notice as big of a difference, but they also, their body is at its peak levels of getting rid of oxidative stress anyway. The, the, 55 and 60 year old cyclists that still ride with us on the weekend. Cycling's a cool sport. You can have a 60 year old guy right next to a 20 year old guy and they're going at the same pace and they're able to keep up with one another. That doesn't happen in very many other sports. Um, but it's kind of cool to watch the 60 year old say, yeah, I'm able to do it Saturday and Sunday instead of I go hard on Saturday and Sunday, they, they don't even want to look at the bike or they go and tool around the neighborhood for five or uh, for 15 K trying to put it all into kilometers too for you guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Hey, so we need a question coming through real quick. Guy, let me hit that one. Yes. That's a, if others have come through, but that's just <clears> the first one that caught my attention. I see there's a lot of chat, but how many do I take? I take one a day. If I'm in a hard training block, I do take two NRF two a day. Uh, I'll be honest. When the hurricane was coming through, I was putting up hurricane shutters on multiple houses and my business and cutting down all the, the, the stuff that can cause debris. I actually went and trimmed two different properties worth of trees. So I was taking two a day because I was, I was in overdrive. Plus my mind was being bombarded, you know, all the stress of is it coming this way or that way. Um, so when I'm training really hard um, or as I've come back from injuries, I've also had two surgeries in the time that I've been doing uh, Life Vantage. Those came, uh, the first one, six weeks after signing up as a distributor, I got hit by a car when I was training, blew out my ACL on my knee, and um, ended up having to have an ACL reconstruction. Three years later, I was snowboarding in Colorado and blew out the other ACL. And so I've come back from two ACL reconstructions in half the time they said I would. They say it's typically a... And they is us, like physiotherapists. We say it's anywhere from a six to 12 month recovery, depending on how significant the injury was, what they used to do the graft to, to fix the knee. I was back in four and a half months the first time, the second time in about four, four to five months. So literally in about half the time that I should have been able to, to be doing things. I mean, I was climbing mountains in Europe on a bike two and a half months after um, having knee surgery, having a, a reconstruction. I climbed Mont Blanc too. A lot, of, a lot of cyclists can't even get up the thing. Wow. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, and, and they, I think I saw, and it's hard to keep track. Maybe you can help me with that key. Somebody yeah, yeah. asked, do I take them once, uh, all at once or separate them? I tend to do them every 12 hours. So I would take one in the morning and one in the evening when I'm doing two a day. And with the NRF1, because we're going to have NRF1 coming into Australia um, hopefully soon. When do, you, um, when do you take your NRF1 as opposed to your NRF2? I do the NRF1 at night, always. Um, that okay. was taught to me by Brandon as well as um, Dr. Fifi, uh, Dr. Natalie Chevro. Um, I was having issues with it, I'll be honest, um, since we're all being honest on this thing. 
I didn't like it when it came out. I, 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 was a, I was so pumped to get on it. It just, the science made sense to me. I started taking it in the mornings and I felt like I was getting irritable, like just stressed out throughout the day, not oxidative stress, like just not nice. And my heart would palpitate a little bit. And I, it's the only thing I could take, t trace it back to because I took it for two weeks, stopped for a week, took it for two weeks, stopped. And I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to stick with NRF2. I love the way I feel on it. And then Dr. Fifi and Brandon and I sat down one night um, and she suggested trying it at night. And I said, yeah, I don't know how that's going to make a big difference. And I, I love it. I, I will be on NRF1 and NRF2 for life because I do love it. I take it in the evening. I take two capsules. Some people take three or four. I take two in the evening. I take one pro tandem um, NRF2 in the morning along with um, the, the probiotic. Mm -hmm. I do use the fat burner. A lot of people are like, you're so lean. Why do you do that? I want to stay lean. And you don't, you've never seen me eat before, especially during hurricanes. Stress eating, holy mackerel. I, mm -hmm. I think I gained like three to five kilos in a week. It, it, it just, it was easy. Um, wow. And then I also use a probiotic. There's something else. Oh, I, I take fish oil. And it's kind of cool. Hint, hint, I've heard rumors that we're going to be coming out with one soon. So, mm. I heard that little rumor. I heard yeah. a little rumor too. <laughs> it got down little to rumor. Australia. <laughs> rumors. So, uh, which is really cool because that's the only oh. other thing outside of Life Vantage that I take. Occasionally, I supplement with magnesium when. I'm training really, really hard. I'll take some mag at night. I've heard that that also helps with recovery. Um, but that's what I'm training really hard. So hopefully that helps. Cool. And I've seen one more just talking about athletes. How do you approach athletes about protandum and things? Do you say, do you want something to improve your performance? Or have you heard of oxidative stress or NRF2? How do you approach them to pique their interest? Um, with a, with a couple of sentences. I'm careful about using the word performance because athletes hear the word performance and the next two things they, next two words they think of are enhancing supplements or enhancing drugs, PESs or PEDs. That's, that's like, and, and no athlete, especially at a higher level, wants to get popped for a, a, a positive test, right? So I don't typically say performance. What I typically talk about is the recovery side. I, I typically talk about, do you find yourself being more fatigued? There's somebody at a, looks like a soccer game, a footy game over there. Karen Andrews. It looks like she's out at a footy game or something. Um, anyway, I think she's at, yeah. <laughs> I typically will say, um, you know, hey, what do you know about oxidative stress? Or, or if they're, they're constantly complaining about being tired or fatigued or sore or something, usually there's a trigger that gets me talking about it or they'll talk about me. They'll be like, man, you were riding incredible this weekend. Like, you, what are you on? And, and I'm like, do you really want to know? And they're like, oh, please tell me you're not using. I'm like, no, I've never used performance enhancing drugs, but I am on something that's all natural that lowers my oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. It's in the nutrigenomic world. And they're like, what's that? I'm like, oh, it's like using plants and natural-based compounds to literally activate your genes. Isn't that cool? And they're like, hell yeah, tell me more. And then it starts into the discussion. And that's where, when are you going to have time? I set an appointment. Because I, I tell them, it's not a discussion we can have here on the bike. On the bike, while we're riding, I'll just talk about some of the benefits that I've felt. And, and what it did for me, but I don't talk about the, I don't even say brand names at that point. I'm just still just talking about something that has helped me be able to recover faster or something that when I attack on the bike, I can go out and put in a really hard effort and then be able to recover again so that my heart rate comes right back down again. So by the time, if I get caught by the pack, I can go again. If not, I can hold them off hopefully. And so those are some of the things that I'll, I'll share with them. And if they want to know why or what my secret is, but a lot of times it starts with them saying something that's a trigger, um, tired, fatigued, sore, not recovering. A lot of people talk about recovery. They get it. They understand that they, how oh, I can go do it once, but I can't do it every day. 
Does Brilliant. that help? So, uh, yes. Um, people have just said, how would you approach non-athletes? I would have thought more or less the same way, looking for them key kind of words that people are talking about. Yeah, if we're talking about with the pro on the product side of things, because I'm always listening. It's I've gotten better at it. When I first started this business, I sucked. If I'm allowed to say that, I know we're not censored here, but I, I was bad, like <laughs> really bad. Like all I wanted you to do was hear what I had to say. That came from the physio, uh, from the pharmaceuticals background. I didn't care what anybody else had to say. I had to get my message out to the doctor and to the nurses, anybody that could touch a prescription. I needed them to know why they needed to use my product. But as you're listening to people, you'll ha you'd hear the soccer moms talk about how fatigued they are. They're, they're carting three different kids around in practices all over town. I mean, my son's starting to go through it right now. He leaves school, we pick him up at school, drive him straight to swim practice. He's there for two hours, take him to soccer practice or football that's already being played. He's, his practice has already started. He's changing in the car on the way there and eating dinner at 8.30 or nine o'clock at night. It's ridiculous. And imagine either my wife or I or both are going with him from school all the way, you know, so we're tired after working all day or whatever it is. So I'm listening in for their clues, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tired after working all day or um, I don't eat as healthy as I should. I don't exercise as much as I should. They're always talking about anything health related or if they have ailments, any cues that I can hear is a chance to start a, a discussion. And I just ask them a lot of times I'll say, what do you know about nutrigenomics? I love that. Simple. Fantastic. I didn't use that yeah. up until about three to six months ago, and it's really working well. What do you know about nutrigenomics? Nothing. We need to know. There's something mm -hmm. you need to know about. When are you going to have 10 to 15 minutes, be able to watch an ABC investigative news report so we can have a little bit of an intelligent discussion afterwards? That's fantastic. That is brilliant. Do you know, Gary, I just want to applaud you and thank you so much with everything that's been going on in your world for the last week, that you took this time for us Aussies to try and help us and educate us and try and, you know, help any of our prospects and cyclists. So I just want to thank you so much for giving up your time and putting us into the middle of everything that's been going on in your world with hurricanes and everything. And yeah, everyone's saying thank you, thank you. We've learned so much. I really appreciate everything you've done. And um, yeah, I've, I've, once we've got this recording, we'll send it over to you. And yeah, we just want to thank you so much for, for today. Awesome. Thanks, Keith. Thanks for inviting me. I feel privileged to be able to share this with the land down under. Uh, I wish I had a team going there. I have connections down there. I'm going to share it with you guys, meaning I'm pointing at the screen. You're going to see this video with all my Aussie friends. So, you know, I'm not the only crazy American that has friends down there because I have like four or five guys that have gone with me on cycling trips and I've been trying to share this with them and I will see them again at a cycling trip next summer and uh, I, our summer and I plan to have uh, a few new business partners down there by then but thanks for inviting me I'm glad that we did it on Saturday I apologize that we couldn't do it Wednesday but you know what I wouldn't have been able to do it Wednesday anyway no power no internet so it worked out wow. for the better so thanks Keith thanks for having me thank you thank you yeah. thank you I've learned lots <laughs> you take care thanks Gary bye, bye guys.